Good morning, jazz cats. Today, we're going to play through a little keyboard line for a song I like to call, I Know How I Feel. Grab your keyboards. Today, I'm rocking a Nord Electro, the official keyboard of quarantine. Grab those sustain pedals, get comfy. Let's jump right into this. For today's practice, we're going to be repeating four chords in a cycle. B minor, B flat minor I should say, A minor, D minor 7 and a C. To begin with, practice some downward facing glissando waves with your fingers. It's very important for this first section. And then together, starting with the B flat in this third inversion, make sure this D up is up top. Okay, here we go, all together now. B flat minor, A minor, D minor 7, resolve to that C. So this verse is made up of three distinct sections. We're repeating those four chords over and over again, but we're descending the inversions all the way down there, starting up here. Okay, repeat after me. Glistening, light, sparse. With feeling, yogi's choice, riffage, staying out of the way of the vocals, coming into this third section, confident, dense, building tension to that chorus, okay? I hope you guys understand this structure. It is so important to structure your practice and structure this verse especially in the keyboard line. Those drums are just gonna keep going, that guitar, that bass, they're just gonna keep holding it down. As the Rhodes player in this, you are holding all the dynamic. I cannot stress that enough, you guys. You have my email if you have any questions about this. Don't be afraid to throw in a few of these joining chords. You can throw in a little A minor when you return to that B flat. It's nice to hide the inversions going down. So when you're feeling that, you're feeling light, limber, we move to the second section. In this bit, we need to raise the dynamic, just a slight touch, but we need to stay out of the way of the singing. So once you're down here, descending in inversions from this top section, we're gonna start with this B flat minor again. And keep it, keep it blocky here, it's more like, throw something in here. Okay, let's learn that riff together, it's a good one. So we go D minor seven and watch slowly. All right, so we're finishing on that C. It's like a variation, sus two sort of thing. different every time you do it, especially when you're playing with the band. And then we're going to finish around kind of here. It's sounding very muddy, but that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be confident and dense. And that's it. Hopefully you're feeling all nice and limber now. If you need something to play in the chorus, we're just going to run down a D minor 7 chord with those octaves. Mm. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Okay, thank you guys for choosing to practice with me today. Much love, much blessings, stay safe in these times, call your friends, call your family, we need to stay together and practice regularly during this time. 
You can use this practice anytime you need to just chill out, restart your mind, get those endorphins flowing, starting your day properly with a little bit of that sort of movement, this like downwards glissando, it's really important for vitality, especially in these times. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing your versions. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.